And uh, what's the biggest challenge today? Uh, biggest challenge today, um, we're going to be dropping a big, a big amount of blood on the floor, and we're going to have to kind of get that right. We're going to try and catch it in a bucket below, but I, I imagine a lot of it's going to miss and just hit the floor, and so I'm hoping we can uh, do that properly. We probably have one shot at doing that with the actress suspended upside down, so that's going to be that's going to be a challenge. Okay, and what do you think about Paul? Paul Leeming. Mm -hmm. Um, I think he has a really clear vision and uh, he's got a very kind demeanor about him that I think has inspired these people to work really hard and, and pull off his vision. So um, I, think, I think he's doing a good job. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about how we pulled off the money shot. Uh, I'm sure most of you have seen our film by now and if you haven't, please do watch it first before you continue this video as we're going to give away all the secrets. Um, the movie itself is quite short and what I, one of the things I wanted to impress because this is partly to do with a competition is I wanted to impress the audience and Guillermo del Toro by showing what we could do with a very limited time, very limited budget. And one of the ways I felt I could do that was to create something that really took you out of this little space that was you know, essential to use for the competition and say, wait a minute, this is not what I've seen in the other films, this is something different. Um, and one of the ways I decided to do that, because it was themed around, you know, birth and abortion, is, hey, we need lots of blood. So I decided that we couldn't, you know, create a, an abortion scene as such, because the, the daughter character wouldn't be an adult and wouldn't be able to act and emerge and things. We couldn't have that. So I needed an adult character. And so... What I came up with uh, was this idea of, of a birth sack, uh, and, and in fact several. If you look closely at the the film, you'll see in one shot there's you know several sacks. Ultimately, my intention was to have a very wide shot of uh, Tom McCall, the actress, the daughter character coming out of this sack with. I mean, the mother character, you know, watching on in horror, and you would see all this in glorious cinemascope, and, you know, it would be amazing. Basically, this is the, the shoot, mm -hmm. it would be this area. And these are pretty substantial, this group yeah, here, they're, they can hold bodies, apparently, like people, I mean. Okay. And so, like, oh, in terms of the actual physics of it, uh -huh. um, like, just because of the way the set's designed, because they have this big air, air vent yeah. room, so my thinking is that we run the cord up and that way, uh -huh. like probably here, we'll probably move the chandelier, uh -huh. probably take it up and that way, uh -huh. like over say three or four, so it's uh -huh. behind the camera, and then we'll have people there, like two or three people, Tom was like super thin, sure, it sure. weighs 40 kilos I guess, I don't know, um, but basically lowering her down uh -huh. such that they can see her, like they know where they're going, it's not operating blind. Yeah. Um, That'll be the physics of it. And I've got a, a 20 meter climbing rope mm -hmm. and a climbing harness that Tom McCall will wear. Um, so the only thing she will have to do is, is kind of just to hold herself upside down is just you know, pinch the, the rope between her legs. Okay. Um, and then we'll shoot it so that when she comes out of the sack we'll do one wide shot so we can see like you know, the, the, the grandeur of the shot. Uh, but also then we want to get it in close up. So you can hide the... Yeah, exactly. Yep. So when, when she comes out to here, where we go, oh no, we can see the harness, yep. we'll kind of cut to Amy's reaction. Sure. Up, uh, and then cut back when Tomic was kind of like on the floor. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's the basics. So this can you wild. tell me the rules and or yeah. concerns regarding blood on the floor or anything like that? Um, no, we can't do anything about blood on the floor. It's fine. Um, We'll just have to mop it up afterwards okay. and... Okay. Yeah, I've got a couple of mops and buckets. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we'll have to... I'm not going to put the that there. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I don't want to stain that. And Is that going to be gone from the whole film? The yeah, we'll just take okay. it out. I mean, everything we move, like maybe we can just take a photograph beforehand. Just sure. To see, like, yeah, I'll get the before. continuity. Uh, yeah. Pablo will do that. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to actually do... Oh, do you want to, before we move anything, like right now, you want to yeah. take pictures? Okay. okay yeah. I'm pulling it, we're pulling down basically. Okay, you ready? Okay. Three, two, one, and pull. Oh. Uh, oh boy, that's heavy. I enjoy this. <laughs> okay. Okay, and down slowly. It does take some strength to make that yep. happen, huh? 
Okay. Yeah, we can get more people on it. And down. Just to... <laughs> I'm gonna just cover this. No up. need for shot in this here. Uh, we can go and buy some gloves here. Yeah. Gloves yeah, really cool. But what we should also probably do is then have like at least four this people. This is fun. <laughs> do, you, do you know your weight, Tom? I'm like 63. Oh, yeah, okay, Tom is like 40. Okay. Um, What's wrong? So we're talking about attaching this to the back instead of the. Not just what uh, the only problem is the back thing is not designed to actually hold oh, no, you. Yeah, oh, that's, that's why we need. Oh, to we're it. talking about different I, I, ideas for this, like. Sure. If we had some sort of a platform that she was laying on and the camera's positioned beneath it and essentially if she slides off, you know, head first backwards and we have some people holding onto her legs to lower her and this, you know, just for safety just in case, but two people standing on ladders on either side holding her legs and helping her as she slides off backwards. Wasn't the Y just going to be, um, you know, the eggs? Can we do it without her physically in one of them? Do you want her moving in? No, she's, she's going to move and then she's going to come out of it. Yeah, that's the problem. Why? Wow, what's wrong with this? Well, we're talking about the physics of getting herself upside down. It's well, going to be really I'll tough. I'll try. I'll try. We'll see. Are yeah. you doing the, the I'm test down there? I'm going to try to flip. Okay. She's so kind of a similar height and weight to Tom Wilkins. I'll just do it. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, like, what, I, what I was thinking was like to help Tomko get upside down is to like, have people help her get upside down, uh -huh. like physically, like now, like this. And, and then know, she what, just wraps her ankles around mm -hmm. this or what? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. I mean, she's not hanging there too long. Like, we basically get her up, get people out, roll. How are we going to get the egg around her? The, the, this will go through the egg. Uh -huh. And then the egg's going to have the feeling yeah, like this, so we separate it. Uh -huh. And she just basically slide up and into it. The construction of this egg is going to be different from the others, and That's right. I'll go talk to David. But we need, we need. We can definitely put like a ladder here while she's getting in, or something, if that helps. And, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the problem is with platforms and things like we're going to get a wide shot, which is kind of crucial. Right. So, I mean, there is this kind of thick yoga mat that we can use for safety. Um, Underneath. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that wide is like. The signature shot, basically. So you must have a pretty one. wide lens if you're going to be able to get the whole. Yeah, uh, 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kept coming in the center. Yeah. Okay, back my sheets. Okay. You ready for your moment? Yep. I'm all falling in, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah. We didn't move that chandelier, did we? No, we no, haven't. No, no. Just be careful that chandelier. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tag the wicked flip, right? <laughs> oh God, it's hard. You go backwards, backwards, not forwards. You won't go forwards. Backwards? You have to go fall backwards. Like kick, kick your feet up. <laughs> yeah, let help her feet up. It's tough. The chandelier won't hit her. It's, it's the weight is right here. Uh, okay, you're, you're too loose, isn't it? Okay. Uh, let's see what you can do. Bring it down. Bring it down. Put it cool down. It's alright, slowly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that I don't have much flexibility. No, yeah. this is not tight. You've got to make this super tight around here. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. That's going to be a lot. So what you're going to have to do is kick Careful your feet forward. up, yeah. and you can help her jerk. Okay. Get her feet over this, and they kind of just intertwine like that with your feet. Sure. Okay. All right. Cool. Thanks. Hey. Uh, Oh, you step up one I think you can. She's gonna step up one sec because you yeah. give her some slack. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Alright, you ready, Soraya? Okay, sure. Okay, three, two, <laughs> yeah. okay. help help stabilize no, it. Okay? It's okay, it's okay. Okay, three, two, one, gentle. Watch your head, watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. That's high enough right there. Yep, so help her get her feet up. And that's it. Okay. Okay, you just hold on to the knees. Well, what's the chandelier? Watch the chandelier, watch the chandelier. It's kind of tough. Okay. Yeah. Watch the chandelier. Watch it. Oh, shit. What's <laughs> 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 the sister? Can I go down? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ok
Okay, get, put it down, put it down. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, we can move that. It hurts. I think we need to take it off. Yeah, we need to take this off. Oh my god. It's really tough. Is it painful? No, no, it's just like really uncomfortable. Is this a, just a one rope channel there or is this a two rope channel? No, I'm not going to try to like, harness it. Can you put two ropes on it or just one? I think if you, if you could do it, if you could do it from the side, I think it would be easier to get. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you could have two ropes on it. Yeah, we could do that. We have enough room. Yeah. Put one like if you can put from both sides, yeah, I like think it would be a lot easier to flip. Yeah. For me, it's just, uh, yeah, it's like really it's tough. Around here, right? Yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to have this really cool shot in Cinemascope that you go, wow, this is amazing. You know, ultimately, we couldn't do it because of technical limitations. And so I had to come up with, you know, on set at the time, we needed to come up with another way, and that was to bring it in very close, close up. So, because of the limitations, we ended up having problems with the harness and as such needed to augment that with, you know, a couple of strong guys on ladders holding Tomoko up in this sack that we, we had developed the sack specifically so she could come out of it. So that wasn't the problem. The problem was that the harness itself uh, was not enough support for her to both act and come down at a measured rate, even with people, you know, strong people on the other end holding it. Um, and this was mostly due to just, you know, set limitations of having a very small space and not having a proper wire rig to use or anything. So, as a result, we brought it in very close, and although we had a close up planned as well uh, in the storyboarding segment, um, you know, we wanted to have this grandiose set that said, hey, we are different. Um, but ultimately, what we had done was fashion a, a wireframe egg or several eggs and put bodies inside them that, you know, were basically cheap sex dolls that we had bought and, and rigged up to look like bodies inside these bags. And my initial goal as a director was to have several of these coming through um, in the background, you so you could see them, but you weren't sure, like, is that more bodies? And then one of them, the, the hero sack, essentially, would be Tomoko, and she would come out. Um, so, you know, full credit to David Mizuchi, our amazing special effects artist, who created these wonderful sacks with our team of uh, prop makers as well. And... We created a wonderful sack, a hero sack, that Tomoko could come out of, you know, covered in latex and blood. And we had our continuity girl, Pablo, who poured a whole lot of blood from a sack onto Tomoko, who was very brave, hanging upside down, getting blood all over her and up her nostrils and things. So full credit to Tomoko for sticking it out. Um, but as you can see by the result, uh, you know, the audiences generally cringe when they see this moment and it's a wonderful moment that ended up in the House of Horrors trailer for all the films um, you know it's being featured in the legendary video as well and you know it's something that stands out as different and I think one of the things as a filmmaker you always want to do is stand out and say hey look at my work is is different to this person's work or that person's work and I definitely feel we achieved that with our money shot of, you know, the baby being born through this egg sack, flopping onto the floor through, you know, again, the, the use of sound effects because our wide shot didn't work. Um, but you hear it and you feel it and, and you should never discount sound in helping to create uh, the other 50% of cinema such that, you know, when the sack is coming out and the blood is coming out we have the wetness and we have the gunk sounds and the flopping of the body and all this goes into creating a believable and quite horrifying effect that I'm very proud of and it's what makes the film and it's also bookended um, by the opening and closing credits which are actually the same sack um, just filmed in slow motion and you know, my uh, visual effects credits artist Vincent Folizu created some additional uh, morphing effects to give what you see in the opening and closing credits. So thank you very much for listening and do stay tuned for the rest of the series and check out some of my other 
movies, both in the horror and sci-fi genre, on the same channel. Thank you. The way to woman's heart is through chocolate syrup. Yeah. Anything you want to say, Paul? Get out! <laughs>